Hey everyone, welcome to ASG Astronomy. I want to do a three-part series on our photon cage and tilting. Uh, this is going to be part one. Uh, we're going to take a look at just an introduction to our hardware. So if you're brand new to the photon cage, this might be a good video to watch. Part two, I want to take a look at how do you set one up. Uh, if you get one brand new, how do you zero it out? How do you actually set the thing up? Uh, part three, I want to take a look at how do you do tilting. And that might be a great video even if you don't have a photon cage. Just how do you do tilt in Hocus Focus and Nina? How do you use ASTAP? How do you do tilting on a refractor, an Epsilon, a Raza? It's all the same process. So I want to take a look at that um, in part three. So I'm going to try to break these up. Um, the technology has changed a lot. It's changed just in the last year. The software has changed. Our device has changed. Um, there's new stuff coming out on the market all the time and new software. So it's important to kind of get a new video out that kind of represents what the latest is. So let's take a look real quick at the Photon Cage if you're brand new to it. It is a four corner tilting device that gives you precise four corner tilters that are 120 threads per inch. Um, that gets you down to micron level adjustments. It's going to allow you to take your camera on a telescope like this and it's going to allow you to move it around and adjust it. If you've experienced cometing stars in the corner of your um, images, it can be frustrating. Um, you spend all this cost on astronomy gear, maybe thousands of dollars on scopes, thousands of dollars on cameras, mounts, filters. You know, you can easily be into some of this stuff, five, ten, twenty thousand dollars and you're wondering why your stars aren't circles. And that can be frustrating. And without a good tool like this, you need a tool to fix that. It's not a hard process at all. Um, you're literally just taking your, your sensor, which might look like this, just a square sensor, and it might just be tilted off a little bit. And without a tool to get it square, um, you're gonna experience those things. And so that's all this does. Um, so we offer two different models. We offer a 90 and we offer a 78 millimeter and that covers a majority of astronomy cameras. So make sure you just check the diameter. 1600s, 20, 294s, 533s are all going to be small body cameras and your big cameras are going to be your QHY 600s, it's going to be your, your 6200s, your 2600s. Those are your big body cameras. Okay. So along with our four corner tilting, you've got real precise tilting on this level. The other benefit of this device is you're tilting right at the sensor plane. Okay, When you look at a camera, the sensor sits right here. That's where you want to start tilting your system. You don't really want to tilt it down your optical train because you end up kind of leaning everything all over the place. Okay, it's a little bit easier and more precise if it's happening right here at the uh, focal or right at the sensor plane. The other thing our, our system offers is two body capture points. Okay, we think it's important um, as we grab the top of it and the bottom, just like a just like a rifle scope. Okay, you get a little bit more precision and a little bit more um, body support if you have a two body position system like this. We also offer independent back focus. And what this allows us to do is this allows us to tilt down here on this bottom plane. And then up here, we can unloosen, our, we can loosen up our clamp bolt and we can actually grab the camera and move it up and down within our captured tilt system. Okay, and so that gives us independent back focus adjustment. Okay, so that's our cage. Um, we tried to make it also modular and what that means is we have lots of different models here uh, because it's the same cage. You don't have to rebuy a new device every time you go to a different system and you need new mounts. It's not specifically designed for Razas. It's not specifically designed for an SCT or an Epsilon. Um, it moves. Think of it more of a camera device. Um, on your big cameras like this, it usually comes with a black 5 millimeter tilt plate. You can take that off, put on our system, and it takes up 3 millimeters. 
and add another one to two millimeters just to back your camera out and give yourself a little bit of space. So it basically replaces that factory black tilt plate um, and gives you a lot more precision and a lot more adjustment. We also add tilting to the small body cameras. They don't come with that black tilt plate and so in order to tilt you need a device to do that. And so this takes up again three millimeters of back focus spacing and then we also offer lots of different mounting points here. Okay, Those mounting points allow you to add a regular filter slider that we offer. We offer a super thin filter slider system. This thin filter slider system was specifically designed for the smallest system out there, which is a Raza 8. A really small 20 9 millimeter back focus. So in order to fit a removable filter slider in a small or big camera system, we had to design it around this system. And then it works for everything else. Um, you can see here, this is a big body camera system that we have. It has a removable filter slider and it screws directly onto a Raza 8. So this is another accessory we offer. Okay. If you don't need that system, you can keep your photon cage and just put on a regular filter slider. Okay. And this one uses the same filters. You don't have to rebuy all your filter sliders. Okay. We also offer um, filter slider covers like this. That's going to allow you to slide in your filters just like this and it closes them, keeps any light leaking out of there as well. We also offer several different Raza 11 systems. Uh, these mounts are a lot bigger. They jump up to M54, like this one. They use M54 all the way through. You can get rotators that are M54s. You can use our filter sliders. That is a complete Raza 11 system right there. We also offer a newer Pro system, and this is going to be M68. This is going to allow a full frame camera. You can see the amount of room you have in there. This is a 6200 full framer. And you can see in there that we've got a full filter slider that uses 50 by 50 square. And you can see how much light that lets in. We finally did some analysis work on the uh, light there. And you can see going M68 is going to max out basically what that scope is capable of doing. Um, so we have a lot of accessories here. Um, but again, I think, you know, talking about accessories, we do have the filter sliders. Uh, we've got pro filter sliders like this that will allow some M50 by 50 squared. Uh, those, those pro filter sliders are going to allow us to do some other things too. Uh, they're a little more expensive just because of all the work that goes into them. Um, but you can do, you know, threaded mounted two inch ones, uh, 50 millimeter round, uh, 50 millimeter square. Uh, but if you don't need the big size, if you just use a regular, you know, two inch M48 um, threaded mounted filter slider, we have our standard filter sliders. And these are super thin and they're going to be more economical to use. We offer those in CNC uh, aluminum and in uh, 3D printing. So you can kind of pick costs too and save some. So that's the photon cage. Um, again, it mounts on any scope. Uh, you can mount these things to filter wheels. You can thread them directly on uh, smaller filter wheels using M58, uh, 4 I mean. Uh, we do have the six bolt pattern. That's going to allow you to actually bolt this directly to QHY or EFWs that have uh, maybe a four bolt pattern. Uh, that four bolt pattern on ZWO filter wheels is the same as basically a six bolt, just minus two of the holes. Um, and you can see we have our filter slider pattern. So you don't have to rebuy a device like this. Once you get one, it mounts on a camera and it should pretty much stay on each camera that way. So it's a modular device. It's got precision tilting, precision back focusing for you and it's got some accessory mounts um, to go into it. So it's pretty modular. Um, so that's part video one, just an introduction to it. If you get one and you're curious how do you actually mount the camera, work with it, zero it out, that's gonna be part two. Um, you can jump over to that, that video. And if you're curious on just how to do tilt, um, I'm gonna do a video in Nina Hoax Focus um, using ASTAP 
using all the tools that I typically will do and how to, how to actually do till. That might be a good video even if you don't have one of our devices. You're just kind of curious how it works. Um, so hopefully that's useful. Okay. So if you have any questions about what we offer, please visit our site, asgastronomy.com. Um, you can always drop us an email on there. Um, take a look at the store and see if there's anything in there that we have that, you, that might interest you. And If you're not sure, just drop us an email and we'll, we'll take a look at what you have maybe and see. Uh, it's a pretty specific device. Um, they're expensive little devices. There's no way around that. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I think it's a tool that after you go through all this equipment, I think, you know, it, it's pretty necessary if you're wanting to get into that level where you're looking at the corners and trying to get things square. So um, check it out. Um, see if it's useful. Uh, hopefully it is. And we'll catch you in the other videos. Thanks for watching.